Yeah. I somehow acquired a gem tang. <laughs> right guys, so I'm going to start the video slightly differently because, you know, Tim thinks he's hilarious. So I'm going to let Tim do the intro because he pretends he watches all my videos. So um, over to you, Tim. No, I'm driving. So, no, you're driving, I'm okay. Driving. So, how, do you want to, do you want to, no, no, you got to do the intro? Um, how, how does it go? Hello, welcome to Prestige Reeve. That's almost right. <laughs> anyway, but we are going to um, a, uh, basically a fish weirdo meetup. We don't do it that often in this country. So although we're about we've, we've we're about an hour and a half away from where where we where we live, we decide to come. And um, it's raining, as you can oh, can't see because we're in a, we're in a tunnel. But it's raining, as you can see. So perfect day for to go fish shopping. Also, the other thing now that Tim's done that, I'm going to put all the clips I have of Tim <laughs> in in the next bit um, because he loves it when I put pictures uh, put videos of him in. And there's a there's a good one. There's a good one. So. Huh? Anyway, I'll um, I will uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you in a minute. Tim's a terrible driver. We almost just died. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> almost just it. died. He has no idea what he's doing. Well, see, see, I almost didn't make it. So, do you want to tell everyone where we're going? Uh, Reef Keeper Windsor. We're going to Reef Keeper Windsor. Now, uh, this is meant to be, uh, I believe, it's like the flagship store for Maidenhead, um, and everyone says this is like the best one they've been to. So. Um, Hopefully it lives up to expectations. There is one bit I'm actually quite excited about seeing, which is they've got, um, some of you will remember I did a video on the uh, tiger angel fish, which I've never ever seen before. I'm sure they're selling like 13 or 14 thousand pounds. Well, I think this shop were the ones that bought it from uh, TMC, which is our wholesaler. So that'll be, it'll be good to see that in, in, in real life. Um, it's, after, after 11 years, it's not often that you see something you haven't seen before, um, so. So I mean, obviously being a, a fish nerd, that, that will probably be the highlight of my day. And I think the highlight of Tim's day will be spending the day with me. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, I'm gonna need one more thing from you before before uh, we obviously get there. I'm gonna need a shameless plug for my new website. So where do people have to go? Yeah, and what do they have to do? Uh, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> right, because Tim's, you know, you know he's not he's not used to this YouTube stuff. So as, as, as if those of you saw my last video or a couple of my last videos, uh, I'm starting a new website. Um, so any of my UK viewers, uh, when you head to www.prestigereef.co.uk uh, to sign up to the newsletter, because in the next two to three weeks, the website will be going live. If you've been following my Facebook and Instagram, you'll see some of the corals which are, will soon be available. And basically the more people that sign up, the more motivation for, is for me to get it done quicker. So um, if you could do that, that'd be brilliant. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave you alone now, and the next time I see you, you will be at the shop. <laughs> if he doesn't kill us. As you can probably tell, by this point, I had literally no idea what I would be taking home that day. Now, although in some of these clips, the shop doesn't look very busy, considering there's an event going on, that's because I got there early to try to get my filming done before everyone arrives. As you can see, it's much harder to record footage when the shop is packed, as I try not to get in people's way. The thing that makes these meetups special is because it doesn't matter where you're from or what your background is. We are all like-minded fish weirdos and pretty much everyone gets on with everyone else, all connected by this common interest we share. I also get a little extra from these events because it gives me a chance to meet the people that actually watch the channel, which I love doing. So if you ever see me, don't be shy, come over and say hello. Something I find fascinating is it's a completely different environment to being online, where conversations can quickly get out of hand. We should all try to remember this the next time we're in one of these online debates. The chances are the person which is asking for help or is frustrating us would actually be someone we liked if we met them in the real world. I'm never going to change the world with my videos, I just like to give people something to think about. Anyway, back to today's video. As soon as you enter the shop, you realise that this isn't your average shop, and although they cater for freshwater fish keepers as well, its name suggests it leans more heavily towards the saltwater side of the hobby. Lean is probably the wrong word, because this shop literally blew my mind. The coral and fish on display here are very impressive, 
with corals catering for everyone, from beginners to advanced aquarists, and it's nice to see some high-end soft corals for once, which aren't zoas. Every fish and coral in this video was filmed at the shop, which will give you a flavour of what I got to see that day. There was a lot to choose from, but it wasn't long before I picked out a nice acro frag for myself, and once I had that, I felt I was done for the day. I'm a simple creature, and a £30 frag is more than able to keep me happy for the next two weeks. As I mentioned at the beginning, I was excited to see the tiger angelfish on display, and it did not disappoint. These are known for being very shy fish, which are incredibly finicky feeders, but this one appeared to be quite the opposite. It's a shame because it's hard to capture on camera just how stunning this fish is, so if you ever get a chance to go see one, make sure you take it. That wasn't the only extremely rare fish either. This next fish is a tilefish, which was only photographed for the first time at the end of 2018. Think about how crazy that is. It's now swimming in a tank in front of me. It's so rare and unusual, I don't believe it even has a common name yet, which is why its scientific name is currently being used. Those two were the most expensive fish I saw in the marine section closely followed by this little gem tang, with a price tag of £1,300 or $1,650. This was when my day got interesting. Ironically, about an hour earlier, Tim and I had been speaking in the car about fish we had always wanted but could never afford. The gem tang was my choice, as I've always had a thing for zebra zomatangs, having owned five of the seven previously but little did I know I was about to walk into a shop which had that very fish on display. When I posted this picture last night on Facebook and Instagram, the immediate response from people was, wow, you must be so rich. Funnily, no one came to the conclusion, wow, you must be so stupid, which with me is a real possibility. In reality though, what actually happened was a combination of coincidences which led to me taking that gem tang home. Essentially, for free. It will come to no surprise to anyone, as I've spoken about it many times before, that I use frags to pay for my tank. I purchase high-end corals, quite often from mainland Europe, frag them and sell them back to shops for credit. Then, when I want a new fish, coral or expensive piece of equipment, I use that credit for guilt-free spending. Over a year ago, I decided I would try to save up enough credit to purchase a gem tank to essentially go from frags to riches. Unfortunately, I never quite managed to get there. Until today. Kind of. What you don't know yet is that in the car I had frags, and I was meeting a few old friends who live a long way away. Between the four of them, I had agreed to sell them 20 frags with a combined value of £900. For some, this deal was arranged months ago, but due to the value involved, we had been waiting for an opportunity to meet, as they didn't want to risk shipping. This was the perfect occasion. Therefore, just by chance, I had the right fish and some money. But not quite enough. Until I spoke to the owner. When I asked him the best price he would do for the gem tang, to my amazement, he said £900. A £400 discount on the price displayed and by far the cheapest I've ever seen a gem tang for sale. Suddenly, I realised I had everything I needed. I was about to swap a gem tang for just 20 frags. Quite possibly the most painless transaction I've ever made. An unexpected side effect of this realisation was my heart started to beat so fast as adrenaline pumped through my body. I could never afford to buy this fish. This was something I had only ever dreamed of and I was about to make it a reality with the help of my friends. With my hands visibly shaking, I went back to the owner, who arranged for one of the ladies to come over and bag her up for me. Naturally, I wanted to put her at ease for this delicate operation. Unfortunately, my usual playful side took over. But no pressure. It's not, don't think that thousands of people are watching you, it's all good. <laughs> it's slightly worrying. I've got thousands of people. Thank you. 
So let me introduce you all to one of the people that made this happen for me. Yeah, so this is this is the person who egged me on to get this fish basically today. So <laughs> it, technically, he also paid for some of it as well. So yeah. help her. This is Mark. He has a very impressive tank and also a YouTube channel called Nasty Nemo. So why not head over and subscribe to his channel to give him a little boost? There are so many YouTubers these days, but I find Mark easy to remember because he's the one that looks like a green clown goby when he's smiling for a photo. See? I can't tell the difference. As I said, it was a series of coincidences which led to this outcome. If I hadn't gone to the event, hadn't spoken about gem tangs in the car, the fish wasn't in stock, if I'd shipped the frags months earlier, and the owner didn't lower the price, this would never have happened. To me, this sounds like fate. All in all, I had a really good day, and I would encourage anyone to go to both this shop and any events where you get to meet other like-minded people. Sadly, in comparison to America, this just doesn't happen over here very often. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that made this happen for me, including my friends and the owner of the shop, Ed, but also Tim for putting up with me all day. So to briefly sum up, what did I leave with? I took home that green acro with pink tips, Mark traded me his paint splatter frog spawn hammer hybrid for a piece of my Cephastria, and of course, this beautiful gem tang. At the moment, she remains nameless. Please feel free to comment below what you think she should be named. All my fish have people names, so you'll have to stick with that theme, and I'll release my favourite name on the next tank update. Right, this is going to be a very quick outro because I am exhausted from talking to so many people. Um, and also I feel considerably lighter, you know, financially. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it takes a, an emotional strain, although as, as I said in the video, I didn't actually, technically I didn't actually pay for it, it was more of a, it was a, basically a trade. Um, so just qu a quick outro from Tim, see what, see what, what did you get Tim today? Uh, I bought some frags. Frags, what type? Uh, a chalice, uh, a Montipora, a, uh, I'm trying to think now. Uh, an acro, and um, that's about it, I think. And what, what and should food. they? Oh, I bought some coral food. And what should they do now? You know, and that's the end of the video. What they should comment, you know, and like and subscribe. <laughs> well, they should. They yeah. should. Yeah. What well, are you going to tell them? Yeah. Um, comment and like the uh, <laughs> and like the, uh, the, yeah, the website thing. Oh, and the and website, yeah. yeah. Tim's coral farm. <laughs> Tim's coral farm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. anyway, I hope you enjoy watching my video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy the video, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week, and I will see you next time. Done. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people that support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.